sign my rights over to my kid in October of 2010. I lost everything due to using methamphetamines. I returned back to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription and they handed me a sheriff's card. When I was 11, I kind of like started doing, you know, hair run, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I needed to call and turn myself in and that is how I gained my drug felony. I knew nothing. I had never been inside a prison or a jail. The first time I ever walked into the woman's prison, I knew I was home. Not that I wanted to live there, but I knew that's where he called me into those women. And when I figured out that they needed something afterwards, um, I knew that this is what the Lord wanted for me. Meet Brenda Lovelady Spahn, the founder of the Lovelady Center in Birmingham, Alabama. It all began in 2004 with a calling from the Lord to share Jesus with women in prison. All the women would get out, so many of them, and they would be right back in there. And my heart would just break and I'd say, what happened? What happened to you? How did you get back in here? And I started saying, we gotta do something about this system. And with that, we had this big house. And I, I talked to my husband, I said, listen, I just wanna bring a few women into the house. When I first met them and the first six came, I was like, oh my Lord, what have I done? I mean, they got off with nothing but a sack and a bad attitude. And I was like, woo. It was like six of us on the van and stuff. I said, we're not gonna live in here. I said, come on now. I said, I bet you there's a shack out back. So when we pull around back with this old beautiful swimming pool, old deck and stuff, and I looked at them, I said, yeah, black girls, little white apron, baby, it's all. <laughs> we better be some maids up in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My Shay was the first, the very first woman who got off the van. She was the first woman in the uh, program. She was so mean. She scared me, and I scared her, and I'm thinking, oh, my golly. This woman is going to hurt somebody. Sexually abused as a child, Shay wound up in prostitution at only 11 years old. She then turned to drugs and further crimes, eventually shooting a man. On and off, she spent about 16 years in prison. You know how people sometimes be like, mm. never once did I see that look come from her. Every time here she comes, she want to hug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's up with this hug and thing? Okay, boo, <laughs> you know? She want a hug. And a little bit at a time, she started trusting me, and I started trusting Shay, and a bond formed and a friendship. The number of women Brenda took in began to grow. What happened is the six turned to 40. Judges, everybody was calling, trying to get their women into our program. Around that time, the Lord directed Brenda to an old hospital building that had become available. And when I crossed the threshold, I said, oh my goodness, this is what you want, Lord. At the new building, the number of women being referred to this residential program that was now being called the Love Lady Center began growing even more rapidly. Today, we have 380 women and an average of 100 children. And today, we average 12 to 18 intakes a week. The Love Lady Center offers room and board, serving about 1,600 meals a day. Health and dental care, education, child care, a legal clinic, work training, and most importantly, spiritual instruction to the women who come there. The only reason this place runs like it does in work is because of God. Because see, what happens is they fall in love with Him too. Without people like her, who is obedient, people like us don't have a chance. I never had nothing all my life, you know what I'm saying? I have a car, I have a home, I have a relationship with my kids. 
if she didn't deliver the word, if she didn't do as the word said to love us as God loved his son, then we wouldn't be sitting here. It wouldn't be 300 plus women sitting here with their children. Boys, a lot of them. <laughs> About 90% of the women now on staff at the Love Lady Center have been through the program. Shay Curry is one of them. I am director of intake. That means that everybody that comes in comes through that department. We receive enormous amount of call daily from women seeking to get in the program. I spent on and off probably about eight months in jail over the past two years, and I, I just decided I heard about the love lady, and it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. I will never be able to explain to anybody what this place can do for somebody. Melissa is graduating after six months in the program. Now I have a future. Now I know I don't have to go back to where I was. And if it's up to me, I will never go back. It shows you how big God is. It's absolutely unbelievable from, from the first six that came into our house and to, to this. I don't take ownership of this. This facility, these women belong to the Lord. A woman to come in here and I'll look. I'll say, boy, Lord, that one's hopeless. I mean, I think just like everybody else, sometimes I see it and I say, whew, that is not going to happen, Lord. And in no time at all, I'll see a transformation and I'm like, I cannot believe it. I get astounded at what he does. And you know, I'll tell you what, anybody that thinks God's not real needs to come to this place.